People should go see Dead Reckoning 1 and 2 on the big screen because it's different. It's an immersive experience. It's like literally a ride, a, a, an extra sensory, super sensory experience that a small screen or a private screen cannot compare with. Also, you're in a, in, a, in a hall, in a sense, in a dark room, and in a cavernous place with a bunch of people you may or may not know, but you have a shared experience. It's interesting to see what other people react to, and it kind of brings us all together as human beings. There's a, there's a silent language or, or a connection between all of us where we care about similar things at the same time. And that's, that's really, uh, how should I say, emphasized when you go to a movie theater. We want to keep it alive as well. If you want to keep seeing movies on a big screen with people of all walks of life coming together, go to the movies, shell out, buy some pop, go to the movies, shell out, buy some popcorn, or just, just enjoy the ride. There's something there for you to think. If you want to look for it, this movie has details that you can sift through and try to figure out deeper meanings. But if you just want entertainment and escapism, you can't get a better ride. Well, you know, playing the bad guy is, uh, is, is quite a challenge because you don't want the audience to be sick of you too soon. You want them to really engage with you, but also to feel the threat, to feel the menace, to feel that our hero, who you're supposed to care about, has a massive challenge ahead of him. The bigger the challenge, the greater the satisfaction. So that's my job, to bring it as bad and as furiously as I possibly can, and maybe even vanquish our hero. Who knows? You have to watch to find out.